He's such a cut rate solo. I would pick the, oh, well, you're on your own. I'll just put you down as solo. <laughs> I would take that version over Cassie and Andrew. What's happening, everybody, and welcome to Combro Stations, a show where we record conversations we were going to have it's anyway true. and upload it to the internet. We do. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro with the most below, Sheps. How's it going, it's going bro? Going great, dude. Today we're going to be talking about some awesome stuff. We're going to be talking about Star Wars. We are, but That's before right. that, if you're new around here and you like this sort of content, please feel free to subscribe, yes. like the video, and join us on Discord because we are using that a lot. Actually, the Discord community has really exploded. It's been a fun. lot of fun. Fun as hell. A lot of fun. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars, specifically the announcement from D23 which happened a week ago and they, they pretty much did it the day after we recorded Yeah. so we'd like we kind of like a week we batch our <laughs> videos like on a Friday or a Saturday yeah. and then all the big news happens on the next day after because of course it does but yeah. we have work and life no hard feelings we we, we totally get it we exactly. get it you know not everything can be put around our schedule no, and stuff yeah. like we that. may have to renegotiate our deal though but because we are just slimy useless YouTubers we're going to scrape the barrel for content yes. and, uh, <laughs> and we're going to do this anyway so we're just going to round up all the Star Wars related D23 three stuff for you here. exactly guys all right so let's get right into the mix of it starting off with the biggest one the stuff that's coming this year november 12th the mandalorian tv series coming this to disney trailer Plus. dropped yes and it looks amazing unbelievable right me, me and rob have been talking about how you do a boba fett or a bounty hunter movie for yeah. ages like a dedicated movie and we had said this is years ago it needs to be a space western. Yes. And from the very first moment, that's exactly what this is. Just the way he walks, mm -hmm. you could take him out of that armor, and put like a poncho on him. And straight. And, yeah. and have him walk I'm into I'm seeing Clint a, Eastwood. Yeah, exactly. It's space Clint Eastwood. That is exactly... It's directed by John Favreau, right? Yes, John Favreau so, is directing this. And he knows his business. He's a great director. He obviously understands The Mandalorian, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be really good. It looks fantastic. I've it seen does. a bit of information about it as well. Apparently they're getting like 16 million per episode to to do this, Ooh. which is a lot of money. Yes. It shows that Disney are really invested That's in like, this to be something great. To be honest, from the look of the trailer, mm -hmm. it looks like it's high budget to the point not where they just threw money at it, yeah. but where they were like, look, we need to get this made this way. It costs this much. Here's the check. Yeah. And we have some great stuff. So we saw IG-88, yeah. who looked amazing. I've been calling for IG-88 so cool. for ages and I was hoping apparently those new villains come to Battlefront 2. IG-88 would be a perfect one to put yes. in. Yes. I'm hoping we were to get some more Bosk stuff because nerds like me who in episode, was it four or five, where we saw the bounty hunters. Send off the bounty we hunters. We saw Bosk and IG-88 for all of three seconds and <laughs> fell in love with those guys and wanted to know more about them and Baba and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, we want to so, see more of that. Also, in that trailer, there was only like two lines in the entire yeah, trailer. Yeah. And it was by the same guy who's uh, he was the villain in jack reacher oh um the guy who oh, bit I off his, his fingers name. i'm not sure of his name either but he bit off his fingers apparently in that in that figure he, he looked Wer like Werner Herzog. Herzog? Herzog? Werner Herzog? i'm gonna go with I, what you say on this something one. like that i forget yeah and he's great he basically narrates the trailer yes and he has a great voice for it he sounds ominous and it's clearly set in like some backwater somewhere where the empire doesn't really go it seems like it's i mean i know that whenever you see sand you think tatooine yeah. but it seems like one of the bars in tatooine in the and back look, where all the gangsters hang out. One of the things I had a beef with episode seven was it was set on Jakku. Yeah. Just set it on Tatooine. We already know and experience this planet. It's a desert planet. They're all going to be the same to some extent. Right? It is all going to be the same. That's same right, as any yeah. ice planet, right? Yeah. Just give us Tatooine. We know Tatooine. We know Mos Eisley. And it's a planet. Yeah. We know one town, Mos Eisley, right? Yeah. There's plenty to happen on Tatooine. There's a, There can be other towns and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. It's a whole planet. Anyway, that's awesome and that's coming out in November. The next one they so when's, said... So when's it coming out in the UK? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's another thing. If you didn't catch it in our other video, Disney the UK Plus. does not have a release date for Disney Plus. It doesn't. Um, which, is, which is really annoying. It is, but I mean... I don't know, Disney must have thought this out. It's probably in the works because they know that people that have access to the internet want to always pay full retail price for anything. And if you don't make it easily accessible to them, they'll wait patiently for it. Yes. So... I'm that's sure definitely Disney. what will happen. Yeah, yes. That's what will happen. Yes, there will be... What are pirates again? Pirating... Pirate Bay, was it? What was that? I, I don't remember. I've heard of a, of a place where free sailing ships, basically, on the mm -hmm. internet, where they're a bay, uh -huh. uh, where, where they, like, collect and... and and what's interesting is, you know, they plunder booty, like online booty, mm -hmm. you know, which I'm a fan of the booty. I'm a fan of booty too, yes, um, yes. And then they just sort of just 
give it to people. Yeah, they just give it it's to you. Strange, it's a strange, strange, strange concept. Place. I don't, I don't bizarre, understand but... it. Yeah. And yeah. um, they also <laughs> announced that a brand new sort of timeline and whatnot to sort yeah. of make sense of everything. Because right now it's like, okay, the first trilogy, the second trilogy. But wait, wait do you mean the order they released or the the numbers one, yeah, two, yeah. three, and one? I so did they, like they sort of broke it up like, into on the graphic. Even the they're like, look, there's some wiggle room here. So it's not like it's right here. It's like uh, this yeah. one goes there. It's like the line goes that way and then it goes this yeah. way. So the Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, and Age of Resistance. Okay. Those are the ones they got there. So that's that's nice to know. Okay. Um, the next one they announced was the revival of the Clone Wars animated yes. series. So Which Clone is, Wars was apparently very good back in the day. Apparently the Clone Wars is one still canon. Mm-hmm. Hasn't been like changed or anything because you you Anakin like the Clone War goes on for a long time. And yeah. Anakin grows and develops and stuff throughout it. There are other characters that have become fan favorites and stuff. And apparently the show's actually really good. Yeah. I've been meaning to watch it for ages. Now that Movie Club, which if you're new, we do Movie Club. We're starting with the Star oh, Wars yeah. franchise so yeah. be sure to jump into the discord and, and you can join us for that I've been meaning to watch this anyway this might be our excuse to finally sit down yeah people have been start. telling us in that discord they've been like you need to yeah. watch it so in the discord people have been recommending that we should even watch just single episodes okay of uh, the Clone Wars oh, yeah, animated yeah. series yeah and even that is like 15 episodes yeah right and I'm just like if I'm going to watch 15 episodes as like standalones I might as well just watch the whole thing yeah it's. It, I mean you can watch like batches and be like okay this bit was cool right. this arc was cool and stuff like that because people have researched right. and put it online exactly but good. there will be deeper relationships like I know I've seen tons of stuff about Ahsoka which is like Anakin does pick up a, a Padawan he's not really supposed to have mm-hmm. I, w- I want to experience that I yeah. want to experience that, that whole arc because it informs a lot of people's opinion about the Clone Wars. So if yeah. we're going to watch it, let's watch it. Yeah. And with this coming out, with the whole new, like, I guess, season yeah. of the Clone Wars coming out, soon is the right time for us to start that, I think. Right. So I think with the movie club, that'll bring us up to episode nine. We'll watch that. And then Clone Wars is in 2020, right? Yeah. So that gives us... February a, 2020. So yeah, we should be able so to get around to that. a month or two to power through. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. Like the first so, I mean, season. I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's definitely an idea. All right. The next thing that was announced, and this is going to be one of your favorite movies i can tell tv okay. shows it's an untitled cassian andor series from rogue one cassian andor his favorite movie favorite movie of all the yeah, stars rogue one is definitely and the best and That's... apparently they thought it was good enough that they should give him his own dedicated movie i mean he's a cut rate han solo <laughs> right? but like the cuttest of rates you know like he's such a cut rate solo i would pick the oh well you're on your own i'll just put you down as solo <laughs> I would take that version over Cassian Andor. What's the point? Let's just get a young solo. Let's get the adventures of Han and Chewie. Mate. Come on. Oh, God. And well, also, I have to say, in Solo, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy that plays Han in that, yeah. he's brilliant. He's great. He's really he's good. He's great. I would happily watch 12 episodes a season of him and Chewie getting into adventures, finally, like, Falcon yeah. goes back to Lando. And, you know, they find another ship and they find another crew and they do a heist and they steal the money, but then they lose the money and they're always trying to get the score. It would be great. I think it would be really cool. He's a very good... Um, it's a character people will love and know. Absolutely. Why not? Why not? For I'd him? way prefer that to the Cassian Andor. This one's going to fail badly. And then the final announcement. The most epic. The most... Oh my God. The one that made me cream my little panties. Yes. Ewan McGregor came on stage with Kathleen Kennedy and they, the music, the pictures of him in the background and he came on stage in his lovely complaint. Scottish accent and he came in and he goes, Kathleen, could you ask these people, everybody watching here today, ask me the question. Am I going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Yes. I have to say, my biggest complaint about the whole thing is yeah. that he didn't come on stage and go, hello there. He should have, right? Just popped in and go, hello there. Hello there. <laughs> That's how he should have started it. And then that thing would have been amazing. But it was, oh God, we finally got it. We made our video oh. about the rumblings about him saying he's in talks. Yeah. Is this going to happen? Oh my God, this would be amazing. People Disney told don't him to play don't me, me, me. He, Yeah, he was told to play it down. But yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, well, how do you play it down? Maybe if people? Kathleen Kennedy had brought him on stage and said, oh, is there anything you want to say to people? And then he should have said, hello there. Yeah, that, right? I, I can't get away from the hello there. But other than that, yes. God, that's going to be amazing. The Kenobi show is going to be 
awesome. We know that it's set like six years, I think they said, after. Yeah. After he drops off Luca um, at in, Tat Tatooine. in Tatooine and whatnot. With, so, uh, there's a lot there that I've wanted to see for a while, and we've spoken yeah. about it, especially in our last video. It's a very good time to be. There's a lot of things that could happen. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they can cover. They can cover the whole Qui Gon talking to him and teaching him about the Force Ghost stuff, mm. right? He doesn't just live in a cave for 20 years. No. Right? I want this to be he watches over Luke. Yeah. As he grows up, I wouldn't be surprised to find that there are always bounty hunters on the lookout for not just um, the kids, mm -hmm. right? Because obviously Palpatine has probably got an idea that they're out there, yeah. at least to begin with, right? And then they maybe disappear. I wouldn't be surprised to find there are bounty hunters coming after not just Obi-Wan, but Luke. Mm -hmm. um, the Inquisition's coming out after yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just bandits in general there's yeah. all sorts of things that can be coming out plus this gives us a reason or an excuse to have other force sensitive villains because in there is a book series and a comic series yeah like there are other things out there that use the force apparently this uh script is apparently already written they're Good. ready to start shooting next year apparently so it's Amazing already news already great stuff to hear luckily obi-wan's the perfect age he is the perfect i mean age you mcgregor I, they're so interchangeable for me <laughs> like i swear to god but he is obviously he played obi-wan at the right time at the exact age to be so a he tracks to be at a the master. exact age and now he's old for perfect for filming so it's perfect it's great it's really great and I, I can't wait for this this yeah. is the best announcement it's going to be from, amazing from the whole this and the Mandalorian movie. are by far my biggest highlights TV wise like show yeah. wise yeah, yeah, just for those great. two alone I think that the eight ninety nine, whatever it is for easily, the easily 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 eight ninety nine a month right there yeah. that's gone just uh, maybe you should come out in the UK maybe you should do that because otherwise there was that what was that place again where the people go and they it share was, they share all that stuff something that about found. a beach something a about beach. a bay or was it a bay a dock or something you know, where, I don't where know maybe one of the guys in the comment section can let us know yeah. if there's a, is there a place you know of where you might be somewhere able to somewhere online view? where people would like share material that they, yeah. they've acquired yeah um, because because uh, I would actually pay eight ninety nine to watch this stuff. I would I would you just need to make it happen Disney yeah, need to make, make it, it easy for me alright uh, that's everything we've got from the Star Wars side of announcements at D23 yep it's Jam packed and oh, with all the. I completely uh, forgot. Gina Carano's in. Uh, is it the Mandalorian? Yes, she is. Yes, and she's been like one of those weird. I can't explain it. Why crushes of mine for a long time? She's getting old now, but she was like a proper MMA chick. Yeah. Back in the day, she's fucking gorgeous. She was in that Fast and Furious movie. She was Trash. in that uh, Deadpool movie as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm I'm down. I'm down I, with you. Seeing her in, I'm like, oh, it's Gina Carano. Yeah. She's actually a bit maybe like a C-list celebrity, but I know her name. Yeah. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I see her, I'm like, aha, that'll be. I good. know. <laughs> yeah, I know you. So I just wanted uh, to chuck that in there as well. There are some some names and faces that you recognize. One good thing I have to say, having you McGregor come in and do a show, yeah. is starting to really legitimize these produced internet shows. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it used to be that if you were a TV actor 20 years ago, let's say, you didn't do movies. No, you're no. a TV actor. And if you're a movie actor, you're in Hollywood, buddy. You don't, you don't stoop to TV. Down to TV level. Exactly. But now, having someone like you McGregor doing these shows and having seen things like Stranger Things, Henry Cavill doing in The Witcher, and The whatnot, Witcher, exactly. So, yeah, it's really legitimizing over. this stuff. And I'm really looking forward to it because I like to be able to binge 10 hours of content versus like a one solid movie. Yeah. I like being able to stop after an hour or five. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Anyway, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait for all of these, especially it's that Cassie and Andor series. I know That's you're looking the highlight, forward to that. The highlight really That's is the peak. That's the one. It's like the CG in the prequels. It's just the peak of everything. Ideally, just... if Cassie and Andor can meet up with that robot from uh, Solo, you know, the one that oh, Lando has. The, the, the feminist chick, for, the feminist robot chick for that some one. reason. If they can pair up. Mm -hmm. Then that would be the pinnacle of I Star Wars oh. viewing experiences, I think. Disney, you're leaving money on the table. You really are. You really are. All right, man, let's move on to our next topic. <laughs> um. Oh, I couldn't give you a straight face. I, could get, I kept a straight face, so all that Palpatine stuff, I couldn't hold that. <laughs>